Hey guys, it's CI Scam here, and I'm bringing you another Modern Warfare 3 video on Dome. So today I'm bringing you a video from uh, me and Buzz where we are doing a 2v2 quick skill match against some randoms that we met. And I will be showing this video from Buzz's perspective because he just happened to do better in this match. Uh, we played a few matches against these guys, I'm only going to post one because they're all basically the same kind of thing. Uh, we ended up winning every match, and in this one, a third person joins, a former member of the CI clan joins. Uh, at the very end on their team and um, so me and Buzz were hanging out one day and we uh, wanted to get some more videos for you guys but we didn't want to just go into we were tired of just going into team deathmatch and we wanted to do something a little bit different and we both really enjoyed the uh, squeaker video that we did that I posted earlier where we um, did a 2v2 quick up against the two squeakers uh, so we, we wanted to make another one of those but this time we we got some different people and we got into a went to a face off 2v2 match and asked the first group of people that we came across if they wanted to quick scope us and they both said yes and uh, we really enjoyed playing with them they were both uh, really they were both pretty good at uh, quick scoping and they were also good to hang out with and we went into a multiplayer match afterwards and played some with them in multiplayer and we've actually we're actually uh, We've continued to hang out with them even after after this video has gone up. We we still hang out and play with them sometimes. So I'm not gonna trash talk these guys like I did the Squeakers because they were good guys. Um, so we ended up playing against these guys I think maybe three or four times and we beat them every time. Uh, mainly I think because me and Buzz have got this have got a very good communication with each other. We're able to just verbalize um, what's going on immediately. We've been playing for so long together. You know when you have a friend that you've played uh, Call of Duty or really any game with you're able to just immediately know what your role is and what you're supposed to do and you don't have to worry about uh, the other the other member of your team and um, so we didn't have to you know worry about the other if the other one was gonna pick up any slack or anything we knew we were both able to hold our own and so we we, we just make a very good team uh, playing together and Buzz ended up doing very good in this game so that's why I'm showing showing his perspective and I did better sometimes he did better sometimes so yeah we really we really are a very balanced team together but enough about me and Buzz. Uh, I have some other stuff I want to talk to you guys about. I have been trying to do live comms ever since I've started uh, putting YouTube videos up, because uh, live comms are not only probably easier to do; they take you know less time. So it takes me a long time to edit. I have to make sure that all of my videos are up to par. I don't want to have any you know um, look, look like they're half baked videos. You know, I want all my videos to look like they're well done. And so um, I take I do take a lot of time in editing, and live comms can definitely make it a lot easier because these after comms I tend to have I tend to like have an idea of what I'm going to talk about. And live comms, you know, you'll you'll be able to see my reaction to while while I play and everything. And they're a lot more uh, interesting, I think, to watch. I enjoy watching people do live comms more than what I'm doing now, which is you know post commentating a video. So in order to do a live com, you have to hook up your capture card, and in my case, I'm using an Elgato. Uh, HD capture card which I think is the best one on the market right now and so I um, have to hook up the HDMI cable from the Elgato and put it into the Xbox but you know the uh, I have an Xbox 360 slim and if you have that you know that the AV cable has a notch on it and the notch prevents you from putting the HDMI cable in there and that's because Microsoft is a bunch of money whores and they like to squeeze every single penny out of you and they want you to buy a, another cable that is the AV cable and HDMI cable in one and so that way it's like another fifty dollars they want you to just spend some more money on uh, equipment that you don't really need because there is a way around it so I, it's, it's, I went out to my dad's shop and he's got like a dremel tool out there and I grinded down the notch but uh, there's a casing around the AV cable and I didn't know that you could take it off but I did some searching talked to a friend of mine and found out that you can actually uh, take off the AV cable casing and so I got a, I actually used like an oyster knife and got got the AV cable casing off with an oyster knife and uh, put it in there. Now I can fit the HDMI cable and the AV cable in at once. But I'm using, but the TV that I'm using, I'm, I don't have, I actually just bought it and I don't have cable in my uh, room. So it's just like the only thing that my TV's hooked up to is the Xbox. And when I put the HDMI cable in and the AV cable in at the same time, it, it uh, doesn't want to register that there's like you know a channel running when I have just the AV cable in it registers that the Xbox is showing because it's hooked up uh, to a channel through the AV cable it's kind of hard to explain because the TV is just acting very weird right now and so um, I guess like it's just it's not realizing that uh, 
that the AV cable and the HDMI cable are uh, able to be in there at the same time. So I'm going to try to run a, uh, so I'm going to try to do something to try to make it where it can work. And to tell you the truth, guys, I don't really know what I'm going to do. I'm just going to, you know, hit do some hit and miss, <laughs> see what happens. I've looked all over the internet, and no one else seems to have this problem but me. Uh, so if any of y'all watching this knows what's going on, then please send me a message, because I don't know. Um, I'm not, like, the biggest techie person. I kind of wish I was, because I, I do enjoy it. I'm just not very, you know, good at it. And so, um... I, I really do need some help with this because uh, I, I would definitely enjoy doing some live comms and I'd like to get some live comms out for you guys because I know that pretty much everybody enjoys live comms more than post comms and it'll make it a lot easier on me especially um, I, I live, since I live on the east coast uh, it'll make I have school starting back actually this Monday so I go back to school in two days and so I've got to once school starts I gotta do something to make this a little bit easier because I'm posting one video a day and I'm sorry guys, that's not going to be able to happen once school starts, you know, because I'm going to have classes. I'm taking a lot of high-end classes, and I'm also going to be, I'm actually also taking some uh, computer engineering, some editing classes, trying to make my videos as good as possible. Um, so I am doing some classes for you guys, um, but I'm going to have to cut down the videos to maybe just a few a week because uh, one every day is not going to be possible for me. Because, you know, i got to get the video, and then I've got to edit the video, and then i got to post the video, and that's all hard to do while you're trying to do homework, and I have to get a job and all this stuff to pay for everything. Because um, I have to pay for my insurance on my truck, and I have to pay for my gas and all that, so I've got a lot of money uh, going out right now, not much coming in, so I definitely got to do something about that. So videos are going to be slowing down, and uh, once I find out how to do live comments, it'll make it a lot easier, so um, maybe I can do something with that, I don't know. Uh, if you guys have any idea how to get this thing working, then please send me a message and I will definitely try it out. Um, well guys, we are actually coming to the end of the video, so if you liked it, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And tell me if you would like to see some more of these, because me and uh, Buzz both in really enjoy doing videos like these. So if you want to see some more, send me a message saying so, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.